Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a stop sign detector because if you go to the events, you can actually see there is a when green flag clicked but there is no such thing as a stop button so if you want to find out how to make this stop button detector then make sure to like, subscribe and share and let's begin with the video so we have the when green flag clicked but the stop when the stop clicked there is no block for that and you can see if you scroll through you can do in maybe if stop button clicked but if you look through the sensing there is no if stop button clicked there's only the different keys and touching mouse pointer so the way we're going to do this is that you need to make a variable called timer and that's going to be our variable so set the timer to the real blue timer so one thing you're going to realize is that these when something is clicked they actually keep working after the stop stop button has been pressed so you can set size to 500 percent so i'm going to start the project and i'm going to press the stop button and then if i press space it still goes to 500 size even though i already stopped the project so if you realize if you show the timer, you can see that even though I stopped the project, it's still going. So the timer only resets, but doesn't stop until you press the green flag again. So combining the when something's clicked and those timer blocks, you can do a when timer is over the actual timer variable plus 0.01, which is like the minimum frame time you can put a forever loop around here so you can see if I show the timer and the real timer they're both running fine and when I press the stop button the variable stops but the other timer keeps going the, the, sens the sensing timer so what you can do is detect if the blue timer is over the orange timer so when the real timer is over our timer plus 0 0.01 to account for frame times, then it can see whenever you stop the project. So let's say, say stopped. And then when you begin, just say, let's just say flag and stop. So let's set the size back to normal and hide these variables. And you can see if I press the green flag, then it says flag. And when I press stop, it says stop. And I can keep going on and on. And you might be wondering why this is useful. But if you know how people use thumbnails in their editors, you can do a really, really useful thing. So that when you press the stop button, the thumbnail shows or maybe says please like and favorite. So what we're going to do is make this our thumbnail sprite. I'm gonna remove these say, say blocks and I'm just gonna design a really cool thumbnail that's completely black and I'm just gonna write hello please like the video on it and I'm gonna make it really big because you should like the video so that's our amazing thumbnail and I will show in another video how to make the thumbnail show like on the screen when you're searching for projects but for now I'm just gonna show how to make it slide in so what you're gonna do is when the timer stops you need to show it and when your green flag is clicked you need to hide it so it won't show until you stop the project and of course that's a really boring one but you can go to front layer set y to say 300 and you see when you stop the project it should be above the screen so it's like you can't see the writing now which is great and then you can set the backdrop to whatever you like i'm just going to make some circles just so that you can see where it's moving so that's my project will be the backdrops 
and then finally forever set y to y position divided by something so basically i would put two in here because when you stop the project it like smoothly sm slides in from the top and it's so satisfying to watch but if you want it to be like smoother you can put any number over one so here's 1.5 or 1.2 I think 1.1 looks really good actually but it's kind of it shows like the bottom part of the screen and if you want it to go faster you can set it to like two and a half so it shoots down and hides your project so thank you guys for watching I hope this is helpful for making your projects have more attraction or maybe reminding your viewers of the project to like and put the star so thank you guys for watching i hope you'll see you in the next video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i guess i'll see you in the next one